Hello and welcome to some dirt oval racing here today. We're back at Lernerville, which is probably my favorite dirt track that I've experienced so far, which is a uh, limited sample size, but uh, always enjoyed my races here because it's hard to ride the wall when there is none. So, I mean, if someone can pull it off, then you know what? They can go ahead and wall ride. If they can find a way to wall ride here, they've earned it. <laughs> but, um,. I've enjoyed every race here so far. Um, the key is just don't go over that edge. <laughs> I mean, if you do that, you're probably not going to finish last at least. And uh, considering Dirt Oval is my least accomplished discipline on iRacing, just over 2,000 I rating right now. Uh, well. I'll take what I can get. So, first lap I was just going to do a little bit of an easier thing. Not try to do anything too crazy. And maybe I'll push a little harder here. Uh, that was pretty slow. <laughs> but, uh, like I said, that's kind of what I expected. Uh, we only have like eight people in here, I think. Uh, I have not yet mentioned, but this is the 358 modified. Oh, but I mean, you saw that in the title anyway, so that shouldn't be a surprise, I don't think. Interesting, I, uh, seems like the top lane is pretty slicked off already. I don't know if that means that a different line would be preferable, but, uh, I'm slow anywhere, so. I'm probably, since I qualified pretty low down, I'll probably just, uh, focus on keeping it consistent. And all that. I generally feel more comfortable in uh, the final corners than over here. I don't know. I'm just a little braver over here for whatever reason. It's the entry that gets me off. Uh off rhythm a little bit over here. It's a little bumpier over there. I don't know. I'm just not as experienced here, so not gonna be as fast. But uh let's see, what's our session best? Session best. I hope I wonder is that counting those other laps I was just doing? I don't know. I think it is. So uh, of those laps I just ran, eight to seven, that would put me in fourth. Which, you know, not too crazy different from where I am now. So, oops, <laughs> I'm holding the wrong button. Um, so, everyone but the five is ready to go. I don't know if the five plans on doing any laps. Maybe they're taking a bathroom break or something, but um, I don't know what happened to the four. I don't know if they're intentionally starting near the back or if they just had a rough lap. I know the split at least once despite the small field size. I think this is just how the fields are in this series or something. So, pretty happy about being number six. We'll say that. That's a nice about a nice thing about being lower I rating and dirt oval, is uh, I get to experience lower pressure for once. It's like I did a, uh, I, I was going to do an IndyCar race at Twin Ring Motegi because uh, I was like, wow, cool, more Twin Ring Motegi. And maybe I'll give it another try later this week, but uh, it didn't go well. <laughs> I It snapped on me very early in the race, and that was it. You can't really make mistakes in IndyCar and get away with it. My car exploded, and so did I. So uh, there wasn't really much to show there. <laughs> I've been trying to uh, be better about showing races I do poorly, but I killed myself very early in that race, and so there wasn't really anything to watch, unfortunately. So maybe I'll give that another try later. But uh, the first attempt did not go well. And my point is, I lost like a hundred and something I rating because I was the number one car in there. And that stunk, obviously. I don't care all that much about I rating, but it still hurts to feel like, man, I made a bunch of progress getting like 20 at a time. You know, I have five decent races and get 20 each time and then one bad race erases all of that and then some, you know? 
So it's like, ah, uh, that's that stinks. But but whatever. Meaningless internet numbers. Blah blah blah. We're gonna get underway here on Dirt Oval, that's the end where of the session. P6. there's less pressure. And uh, like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and just maybe start run. I'll uh, probably run the low line early on here. And uh, not fly off the course. <laughs> and that'll be how uh, I'll be for a little bit. Probably run the low line while we're around other cars at first. Uh, if I can get down to the low line. And then maybe if we get some room around us, then I'll, I'll try to be a little more daring. Run a little higher up. I think that's the game plan right now. And we'll see what happens. I have chat ready. Okay. Make sure I have that unmuted. And, uh... Yeah. Weird start here at Lernerville. You gotta, you gotta funnel all the cars through a tiny little opening. And then you have to go off a ramp in order to get to the track, basically. Drive off a cliff. We'll have to just be patient here as we get onto the track so we're not running into people before the race even starts. Before we even get to the track, essentially. I don't know if this five guy's here. Because he's not even joining up. He had to go take a poo right before the race. Or something. <laughs> and now we're waiting on him. He's going to miss the start. I thought that was him for a second, but there's still someone else joining up. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and missing the last guy. And I believe the four back there might be blinking. I thought better hurry if he's gonna show up. He's got less than ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. And he just pooed a little bit too long, I guess. The air temp is 85 Fahrenheit. 30 laps. Make him count. We need to follow car number Wait, zero, zero, here. eight in the outside column. <laughs> All right, four is gonna overtake us, I guess. <laughs> Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed right now. Catch up, hey car. Catch up to car number. We made it to the track. We got someone going off track already. What is this guy doing? He's probably just messing around. He's a higher I-rated guy, so I assume he knows what he's doing. Being crazy. I wish you wouldn't. I'm not trying to get lined up go. here. Next time by. Last time, I think it was last time I was here, we got caught in a sandstorm and got lost and flew off the side. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know if there's enough people here for that to be a problem. Get ready. Going but uh, I hadn't experienced that before. Losing all visibility. That was interesting. Get ready. Time, to is off. time to do your job. Green, 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 green. I'll drive first, yeah. Hey. Oh, we got rear ending going on there. It looked like rip it open. Ugh, this is, uh, things are looking a bit wild around here. <clears throat> okay, I had to check up for him a little bit. I don't know how you pass. I'm not quite sure. We're a little faster than this guy, but... Right on here. See what's happening. No. <laughs> it's not happening, is what's happening. Alright, well, that guy passed us, no big deal. 
and the reminder that my expectations are low. <laughs> so, gotta try things, I gotta learn. I gotta learn what works, what doesn't. A whole new world here, Dirt Oval. Lester's got his own custom scheme on there. That's pretty cool. Got his name on the back. Car ahead. Car ahead. We have some fly off? I don't know. Who is this individual? Lab down is what he is. <laughs> I don't know. He might have flown off already. Probably get out of the way, though. Like, I think he was out of the way well enough. I'm just uh, overly nervous in an environment that I am not familiar with. So, I'm not quite brave enough to push it right to the edge every lap. I just, uh, I don't believe in myself enough for that. And I don't think I should, either. So... We're probably going to be a little bit behind these guys because they're more daring about it. But maybe that will be their downfall. Or maybe I'll be careful and still fly off the edge. That could happen too. Is this here yet? Will that ever be there? I don't know. It's just session last lap. What's happening? There's like a blinking guy up there. No idea where that guy is. Oh, someone went off. You're back in fifth. Was I in fifth at one point? Okay, cool. <laughs> Real slipped off up here now. So you have to be extra careful. Extra, extra careful if you were already being careful. You know, just uh, step it up one degree of careful. Oh wow, he really cut that low. I think the bottom line's in. Uh, maybe in one and two, but maybe not so much. Oh gosh, I'm all over the place. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I gotta be pa more patient on the throttle. I think I'm spinning my tires up a little bit. Halfway home. Fuel looks good. That lap time was 16.5. Hmm. I think that much worked. <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah, what did? That last lap was at 16.6. Cats outside my door making noise. I wonder if that's on the recording. Apologize if it is. It wants to be let in apparently. But uh Well, we're about to get passed by a guy that I think flew off the track earlier. Speaking of, we got a lap car flying off the track. That doesn't mean do me much. <laughs> Up high. Set the pie, it's still the lap car. car wow, this guy's outside. faster than me. Clean I'm not gonna fight too hard for that. It's clearly, he's just better. Car outside, outside is clear. I got nothing. Ten to go, this time by. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he passed me and then he disappeared again. Consistency wins again. You thought you thought you were gonna pass this slow driver. Get back in your then you flew too close to the sun, didn't you? Speaking of, we've got another one burning up into the solar sphere and about to come onto the track and hurt me. Position. We're in fourth now, as more guys continue to drive off the track. Slow car up high. Slow car up high, I think it is a lap car. Lots of people flying off now. The gap in front is now 5.6. That lap 
was at 16.4. The low line's working now for reals. Not pretend working like it was before where I thought it was faster and then it wasn't. I think it actually is faster now. You've just done a 16.4. Doesn't seem like I'm hitting some good laps down here all of a sudden. I've got last lap up so I can kind of compare. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens when I go up here. Ooh, my, uh, internet got scary for a second. Hmm. The gap behind is now 3.1. I think maybe 1 and 2. We take the low line. Maybe try a higher line here. Case. Get the leaders coming up on us, so I gotta watch out for that. Um, maybe the high line's good, even with how slick off, slicked off it is. I'm just trying to figure it out. Ooh, get this dirt off my screen. We got someone that flew off, I think. Maybe not. I think, uh, yeah, they're back on track now. They're lucky. Huh. Yep. Hey, yeah, last quarter's pretty good. Hey, I'm quite happy with that. We stayed on track and we got, and we got ourselves a fourth place as four. Very good job. Scares me a little bit. <laughs> Woo! This track's so fun. And uh, everyone's finished. Everyone's off the track. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Woo! <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't help it. I had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> now that incidents don't count. Listen, it's an easy way, it's a quick way to get out of the car, alright? <laughs> alright, so we got ourselves a P4 has the number 6. And uh, we took our commute home real quick. We apparently live in a tree. So, we did better than we're uh, supposed to do. Stayed on the lead lap. Had a 0x race not fly off the course because of sandstorms or otherwise I can be perfectly happy with that so let's see what happened out here see who did fly off the track perhaps and then see uh, if anything interesting pops up so four was having a lot of trouble I think kinda interesting as the number four maybe they do a lot of different types of uh, dirt racing. Maybe aren't so familiar with this one. So they seem to be seemed to be uh, struggling a lot. So I got a better eye rating than I do. And they s we're having some serious trouble. Looks like, or maybe they're new to the track. That could be it too. Oh, yes. And they're making things harder on others as well. That guy was fine. Arcade damage model, he's fine. <laughs> to use one of Nick's lines. And uh, Four's just chilling. Having himself a race. Eight. Off the track. That was a position for us. Right? Let me not embarrass myself and find out that he still beat us. There's probably going to be at least one person on here who went off the track real bad. And Oh my god. Four. That's the second time he's messed up that guy. Oh, no, that's a different guy. I thought that was the same green car as before the number two. But uh, he's causing... He's being a headache <laughs> for people. Might need a little more practice. And, uh... Is this... Is that after the race? Is that it? That's all we got? Oh, there's got to be more than that, right? <laughs> well, we... We got our little goof right there. Oh, uh, Ford did it, too. I don't know if you've earned it, man. But uh, I think that's just this racing line. But uh, let me let me hush up. <laughs> That's that. So there was probably more to see, but I don't feel like going and searching for it. We got the general idea. 
and uh, should be a quick video. That felt really quick. Uh, fast one here, just some dirt oval. I don't do quite as much as that, so that was pretty fun. Uh, anytime Lernerville comes up in a car I own, I think I'll go ahead and run it because this is always pretty fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching, had fun like I did, and uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Appreciate you watching. Have a good one.